Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 207. I just uh, arranged to speak again for another State MGMA Society. If I haven't been to your State MGMA lately, contact me today and we ought to do something. We do full day presentations, bring your laptop, follow along. They're very helpful to retain some of the information that I'm presenting in these videos, pivot tables and tables and stuff like that. Today what we're going to do is play with this button called the Format Painter. And what I have is third quarter 2011 I've got it formatted just the way I like and now I've, I've entered in fourth quarter 2011 down here and what the format painter will let me do is click on something I like say this cell and I can click the format painter and it says alright see how my cursor changes to a paintbrush I'm gonna paint this cell to look like that one and what I'm doing is not changing I'm not copying what's in the cell what I'm copying is the, the way the cell is formatted. So I can do something like this, or I can even do a group like that. And you say, well, there's no formatting change there. There's no formatting change there. It doesn't change a thing. If, if the format's the same, it's not going to hurt you. But if it's different, it will fix it. Let's do this one. See, these are third quarter and these are fourth quarter. So let's highlight this, click Format Painter and do that. And that shows you, hey, the date is different, and I didn't change. I didn't make this cell here July and this one August. All I did was format them. I centered them, put the purple font in, made it bold, stuff like that, and I'm good to go. The other thing you can do with Format Painter is not just these ways the cell is displayed, the, uh, the colors and the sizes and stuff like that. Notice how I've got this cell conditional, conditionally formatted. The, uh, the rule is, hey, if it's over 100, put it in green. What I can do is I can take this cell and copy the format, put it over here, and now it'll do that one, even though that one's in green. And I could make this one, and it'll make that one in green. And so the Format Painter is a very, very, very powerful time-saving tool to say, hey, I've got something the way I want. I'm just going to paint the format. I'm not copying the values or what's in the cell. All I'm doing is taking the formatting and moving it from place to place. And it can save you a ton of time, especially if you've got something like this saying, hey, this is exactly the way I want it. I've spent the time. I've, I've got it the way I want it. What you can do is you can format paint the whole thing. And now let's do first quarter 2012 right here. And we'll just go right here. And that fast, I took the whole format out of here and put it there. So I get one thing right. And it's very easy to copy formats from place to place. That's what I wanted to show you today about the format painter. It's a great shortcut. If you haven't started doing it, it is very clever. And the, um, the last thing I want to say is, see how I'm hovering over it? When I did it once, when you, you can highlight once, and then as soon as you do it again, the format button goes away. If you want to do it again and again and again, all you have to do is double click the format painter and it'll let you do it as long as you want. And you can take the formatting from a cell, a range of cells, a whole table, whatever you want, and move it from place to place really fast. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.